Well, happy Thursday, everyone. And today we're going to talk about cutting your shapes out and making your blocks, getting ready to sew using the applique technique on our orange peel. We have our templates. I have my paper shears here. So we're just going to cut these out roughly. I made five copies for this demonstration. Uh, so I'm going to roughly cut these out. This is page four of your PDF. And So there we go. We have five basically rough templates. We have our dark fabric and our light fabric for this demonstration. I'm going to use dark fabric as my applique and light fabric as my background. The first I'm going to show you how to do is bond the web which is a double-sided sticky. It has paper on one side and it's sticky on the other. And what I do is I use a piece of baking paper which protects everything from the sticky because sometimes it can ooze out so it will protect your ironing board and it will protect your uh, iron from collecting this sticky stuff. So we have the paper side. This is the back side of the dark. So we lay it down on this fabric. Here we go. And then we fold the baking paper. You can use two, or, two sheets or more if you need it. I've already heated up the iron. So we just simply press using this baking paper for just a second. And let me turn the iron off because that's all we're going to iron today. I have a small iron for next to my ship machine, but I wanted to use a standard iron. And as you can see, this is glued to the paper and it's also kind of overlapped and stuck to the the baking paper but it will not stick to this and this protects that glue from getting on your iron or your uh, ironing surface be it an ironing board I made this ironing surface so there we go we have this we'll set this aside for right now and then another thing is that I use for us to be able, this is, we talked about this, this is the Jenny Buyer Perfect Piecer. And if you see, there are little holes on here, and these are quarter inch positions. And these are 60 degree, 45 degree, and 90 degree angles. So what we can do is we take our Thing, since we're going to be doing this all manually and we take our perfect piecer and we I'm going to do it on this side so it's easier we line up on our sides and there's a little dot when you get this all lined up on your side there's a little dot in here so you we need a little more lead. There we go. And then we also want to do the other corner so that this is where the points match because they're a quarter inch less than our five inch squares. So we mark this and see, and I don't know if you can see it on camera, but we have a dot here and a small dot here and that's your quarter inch seam allowance on your background fabric. The next thing is Elmer's glue. Oh my, this is the 
the benefits for every sower is just outstanding. So what we can do is we take one of these and as I wrote in the in the instructions you cut on this line if you want raw wedge and you cut on this line if you want to do needle turn. This is a quarter inch on both sides. So we line this up on our paper. So we just take our glue stick and we put a few swipes. And the beauty of purple is it's purple when it's wet and it's clear when it's dry. So if it's still purple it should hold the glue. So we put this on here on this fabric. Let's see. See it's not exactly straight. So see it's clear. So let's do a little more. And then we can put this on here and we glue it down. And then if we're gonna do this raw edge we cut our template along this outside and my fabric is not sticking properly. You can also use a rotary cutter for these, but it's much harder to do. This one is just being uh, total. I'm going to glue the fabric really good. So we go on here and then we glue this down. And the beauty of Elmer's glue is it washes out. So there we go, we're glued now. And so this one's a little, I have to finish this one. And these are my old paper sears. So they're not cutting the fabric as good as I would like but they're getting the job done. And see, there we go. We would have a raw edge applique right there. I'm gonna cut out the other side for the needle turn. And we'll do the other side needle turn so you can see how easy this works. So we cut it. And it doesn't have to be perfect because it's going to be turned under. Okay, there we go. So what we do is we can take a needle or a pair of scissors or whatever and we're going to glue a little bit on this line and we're going to take our scissors and we're going to turn it over to the dark line and we're going to come around and make this all one quarter inch perfect. And I know I'm not doing it perfect on camera because I'm trying to rush, but you can get this pretty perfect. And then when you lay this down, this glue holds it all into place. And I'm not doing a very good job, but I hope you get the, the gist of it. And then we come back to the fusible and we do the same thing. We, you would do this, we cut out along this and then you can peel this off and then iron it to your background fabric. I'll show you. 
So we line it all up. I'm going to use my good scissors because it's going to go much faster. These are not my good, good scissors, but they're my newer fabric scissors. So we come out. And then we turn it. And you can print as many of these templates from the pattern as you want. Like I said, they're page four. You need 110 of these to make the quilt that is in the pattern. And so it takes a while to get it ready. So there we go. We have one orange peel. And so we come back here. We get our parchment paper. And I turn the iron off. Hopefully it's not totally. And this is a quick way to do it. So we, what did I do with my, oh here it is, and then we come in here and we peel this sheet of paper off, and you can see the glue, I hope you can see it on the camera, it's a little shiny. So we have our two dots on here, so we align them up with the two dots. In the center of this, so, there we go. There we have it. Then we fold this over like this, and then we take our iron. And we iron. This is a quick way of doing it the manual way. Okay. And there we go. Our edges are down. Now we can stitch along this edge with our sewing machine or by hand and lock this down. And it's actually a good way of doing raw edge applique. You can do a blanket stitch. You could actually even do a satin stitch on this. And in the next video, we're going to go through and show you all the different stitches. And I'm also going to show you how to do these, the paper piecing or the fa way of doing the needle turn which is really quick and easy. So we'll see you next week. I hope this helps you get started. And, and there we go. There's one. And you can cut these any way you want. Like I said, the outside line is needle turned. The inside line is raw wedge. This is the perfect shape. This is for you to have the same allowance to turn under. I hope this helps you understand the pattern. And if you have any questions, ask me. And we'll talk to you next week. And always remember, Elmer's glue is your best friend. And this tool really comes in handy working projects like this. So you get these perfect quarter inch seams in these points. No fudging, no fudging. I hope everyone has a good week and we'll see you next week. Talk to you later. Bye.